And the kind of the way that it came to me with my, I love watching sci-fi and all that kind of stuff. So I kind of see it this way, that God has a secretly encoded message that he has embedded within you. That while he was forming you and fashioning you, he also kind of threw in some messages and coding there about what he wants to do with you. If you don't connect with God, the dream can't come true. If you don't believe God, the dream can't come true. If you don't take a step of faith and trust God, the dream can't come true. Second day at was the second or third day at, or at, at school, then we met. And even then, I didn't know who I was meeting. If I had known who I was meeting, I probably would have treated her differently. Because when we were introduced to one another, I was like, hmm. Chris, this is Carol. Carol, this is Chris. I was like, hmm. She got irritated with me. She went, are you going to speak? <laughs> You gonna speak? Can you imagine being introduced to some guy and he just blows you off like that? Like, mm -hmm. It's because I didn't know. I didn't know that I was stepped in. I had just been introduced to destiny. And part of the reason why I missed it was because I was so disillusioned and so disappointed. And words like those girls had said to me, said that I heard when I walked out of school that this school ain't got no nice guys, nice looking guys. So I come across a beautiful woman and I'm introduced to her. And so rather than get my heart hurt and everything, I already got my defenses up and shields up. <laughs> Do you know that your own hurt and pain and different things that you've been through in life, that even when God introduces you face to face with his will, with his purpose, with his plan, that you can blow it off. Because I still locked into what they said about me. And I still look at myself through the way they saw me. I was still so locked into the way I thought that I was perceived that even when this woman, this beautiful black woman from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, was showing interest in me. So when I come across this woman, oh my God. We both write. We have the same interest in heart. It was sort of like what happened with, uh, with Mary and Elizabeth when they were both pregnant at the same time. And as soon as... Elizabeth heard that Mary was at the door, the baby inside of her leap, because what's inside of you and what's inside of me, they're connected. And so even though I was really had some interest, I couldn't let her know. And I was also trying to be true to the girlfriend back home. But this girl, she could finish my sentences. She could complete the thought. She understood what I was trying to say. And so then I had that, y'all know, the dilemma. Oh, okay. Do you settle for what's at home and safe? Or do you pursue what is really been actually laid out in front of you? Of course, we didn't start up a serious relationship until later but I did slip one time and told her how I really felt for her felt about her it was the you know pretty much we exchanged notebooks and writings and all that kind of stuff and she slipped in a poem about me and I pretended that I didn't know who she was writing about <laughs> but during our first break which came up at Thanksgiving uh, Harrisburg, of course, was too far away for her to go home, and I stayed in, in, uh, in school also because we were doing a special uh, weekend for incoming, potentially incoming college freshmen, and I played drums for a group, and we were going to be performing that weekend, so I stayed in school, I stayed at the university. And so we were invited to go to Thanksgiving dinner with the friend of a friend's house. And so we drove over there to the house, and 
you know, get out the car and walk up to the door. And I ring the doorbell and I turned around to her and without thinking, without thinking, I just rung the doorbell and I turned around and I said, I love you. And I tried to suck the words back because she wasn't supposed to know that. <laughs> She laughs because she said, I literally did say, <laughs> I was like, I couldn't believe I did that. But when you run into God's destiny and purpose for your life, stuff just starts coming up out of you that you didn't even intend. You didn't mean to say it. You didn't mean to do it. But there's a connection. Now, I'm just using our relationship as an example. Because God had ordained this so that even when we met one another, I couldn't deny it. And many of you have come across situations and circumstances or even people like that. It was like, this is the people I'm supposed to be with. This is the person. This is the job I'm supposed to. This is the career. This is what God has called me to. And I'm going to go after it.